Hey guys, I hope you're having a great summer. I am, and I hope you're out diving and doing some great shots underwater with your uh, underwater kits. The last six months I've been part of the beta testing team for the iDive site Symbiosis Flash slash Light. That's gonna come out uh, very soon now. Um, I've had the unit for almost six months now, different versions, uh, different looks, different specs, uh, I can tell you, different software versions. I even managed to uh, flood a unit or two. Um, but it's been great, it's been interesting, and uh, we pretty much know now what this unit can do, and uh, I have to say, tell you that I'm uh, really thrilled about the unit and the, the whole idea about it. Um, it's so close to release now, that I actually have the first sellable version here in my office. It's the SS1 unit. That's going to be an SS1 and an SS2. Uh, and I have the SS1 unit here in my office and I'm very, very shortly getting the SS2. Uh, and once I do, I'm going to take those two units and, and, and we're going out to do a major tech spec test where I'm testing these flights, uh, flashes up against uh, similar flashes so you guys can see exactly what can these units do uh, compared to the other units, so you have a pretty good idea what it's up, uh, it's all about. Um, I haven't released too much information about the specs and, and what they do and how they perform, uh, but I did do quite a lot of dives with them. I had them on trips to Sweden, Norway, and here in Denmark, and um, I did some video. I it's from spring. It was supposed to be out a long time ago, but I thought you might like to see it. Uh, I'm taking the unit diving, and it's it's it could be fun for you to see how it actually looks and performs underwater. So. Here's the video and enjoy it and I'll see you soon with some more tech spec test information about the Symbiosis units. Good morning and welcome to this dive site. Uh, we thought it was spring, but it's apparently not. Uh, weather is nice this way, but it's going to be snow in uh, less than an hour. So hopefully we will we'll be able to do the dive before the snow gets here. Um, today we're gonna dive a very interesting combination. It's my new uh, Sony a7 uh, art camera. Uh, in the new now to cam housing um, using the WWL lens. It's a really great combination for uh, high resolution pictures. Uh, but the really interesting part of it is that I'm using the latest Symbiosis version here. We're part of the beta testing team for the Symbiosis. And I think this is the third version that I have. It's very uh, close to being complete. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting some of the last bucks uh, tested out of it and uh, I'm going to do a combination of video and uh, photos today. I'll bring my camera guy so he can film what I'm doing on the water. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, uh, it was a long and great dive. It was uh, rather cold, nine degrees uh, Celsius uh, out there. Uh, the entire kit performed really well. I'm very, very pleased with the A7 together with these uh, Symbiosis. I have to admit that I used the light a lot. Um, the thing is, when you have a really light sensitive camera like the A7, you don't really need flash. So uh, with just the lights, 4,000 uh, lumen, um, you're pretty well off. 
Um, I think a lot of the box has been cleared away. Um, everything performed well. With my thick gloves, I turned the flash on and off uh, accidentally a couple of times. Um, but rather, other than that, it was, uh, it was great. After a couple of hours, almost two hours, the left unit here ran out of battery. So I guess that's what we can expect from it. Um, but overall, I think it's soon ready to be launched. So um, stay tuned and we will let you know when it's your turn to get a symbiosis unit.